are... Oh, that's the stone markets. You are... Where the fuck is the... There it is. You all are at the Temple of Irori! Oh, yeah, we're still at the Temple of Irori. Good. We're, we're back home! Amitar yeah. has made some food in the morning. He was excited to hear about your tales from the evening, if any of you was willing to regale him with the state of your day. Volthanir would definitely do that. Make a performance check. Alright. Make check. assist. Sure. <laughs> you make one too. We'll see whose story he liked the most. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know if that's... Oh, I'm just gonna stick to your box. Fight. Like... <laughs> <laughs> It's a paladin oh, versus a sorcerer. I think it'll be fine. I'm, I'm proficient. I have a plus. He 10. was not that interested in hearing about Bink getting the shit beat out of him in a hole by a monk. <laughs> that just seemed terrifying to him. But he was really captivated by Volthonir trapping a rogue in a weird bubble and the bravery of flying into the air against a bunch of wizards who were dispelling you. He thought that oh, was some God. cool shit. <laughs> what were you going to say, Ducky? I was going to say I stand nearby and threateningly unpack the, the meat from the meat locker. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> Threateningly unpacking the luggage. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, we're having um the, the giant ass bird. He's terrified of you. And he whispers quietly to Baldrick, who seems to be the friendliest amongst you. <laughs> what, 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 did she, what did she do? <laughs> <laughs> Modric's in on the joke and just leans in. He's like, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check with advantage. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh. He sweats nervously and goes back to stirring the pot. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so... Donnie chuckles smoutly at this and resumes her meditation, and you all managed to finish your long rest. Anybody have any things they needed to tweak or adjust on level up that need to take care of ahead of time? Nope. Um, okay. I, I think that, um, yeah, no, I, I think I'm, I'm good. I think I'm going to keep my, I, I, you know, actually, no, I, my fighting style changes on ability score increase, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. Oh, did uh, you want to change it? Uh... No, I don't want to. I mean, I'm being pretty forgiving in this one because you guys are coming in at level 11. So I, I, I if there's one you want, to tweak, you want to tweak in that regard, I'll let you do that. I'm going to keep rocking it for now. Um, okay. Keep rocking Interceptor for now. I might change a Duelist in the future, but I'm, I'm rocking okay. this for now. Um, All right. Yeah. Uh, before we leave our um, encampment, definitely, uh, Wolfnir is going to take 10 minutes to uh, to give a rousing speech. Okay. An inspiring speech uh, to the party. Let me put you all on the map so it'd be easier for you to target them. I am using combat tracker for targeting. It's oh, okay. not, not too bad. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, <clears throat> if we're not oh, on the map, um, we it might not go through. No, that's fine. He's targeting. He's still effectively targeting you. It'll work. Oh, okay. It will go through. Cool. Trust me. I couldn't all remember right. what the other thing was that stopped us last time. Sometimes it just doesn't let you target people for some reason, but it's showing him targeting you all. Cool. I GM with Fantasy Grounds. Nah, he's got I know, I know he's, got, he's got this. Anyway, Volthanir flaps his, uh, his hands on the table and stands up and says, Yesterday was a momentous and eventful first day. We are eight feathers out of ten to victory. Today... All we need to do is get our last two and hold on to them. We have some cushion in case if things happen to go wrong. Do not fret. There is no shame in failure. There is merely the will to get back up. We shall move on to the grand tournament <laughs> for great justice. Baldrick slams the table and stands up and just says, wait, that was only the first day. <laughs> <laughs> Make a charisma insight check, Volk. Oh, uh, charisma insight check. You got it. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Done. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Firing leader, and everybody gets their 
Did that go right? 16 yeah. temporary hit points? Yeah. Ooh, up to 16. Every point um, matters. We've it goes up that. to <laughs> it goes up to six people. Uh okay. Then um You gotta hand it off to the Ama to Ama the, Amatar. Amatar <laughs> also also gets uh since he's friendly, uh he you also see him, get it. Anybody with a passive perception of twelve or higher sees him salute with his spoon. Ooh, let's make a dexterity check for Amatar. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. he just got food all over the wall. <laughs> Better on the wall than on his face. Or on his clothes, I guess. What's that uh, What's that old saying? You got pie on your face or something like that? Uh, like egg on your something. face. Egg on your face, that's it. Oh, you guys are over here now. All right. Yeah, I actually have a passive perception of 17. <laughs> Uh, uh, I've got one to fifteen, but only because of my shield. So I have fourteen. How do you have seventeen? Oh, never mind. I have sixteen. Uh, okay. Is it an eight plus? I your, have... your modifier. Ultric uh, has high uh, wisdom now, sweetie. Oh, he does because this is the <laughs> this is fine. I apologize, Biggles. You you definitely <laughs> do have higher rolls for wisdom than I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Your proficiency mod is plus five now, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's why. <clears throat> okay. So, with the day ahead of you, you step outside of the Temple of Aurora at your leisure, and this time there's nobody immediately outside looking to beat your asses. Oh, we can't read this time. They got the notice. <laughs> they heard from third parties not to meet us at morning. <laughs> Aduna looking to inflict violence on someone as soon as possible. Hear me. I want their blood. Just had our coffee. We're all amped up on caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Where would you all like to go today? Uh, good question. Um, So, we never did anything about that dinosaur that was in the uh, yeah. quad. The, uh, northwest of the <laughs> and, and now the dinosaur is probably elemental. full strength now. Ooh, there's that yeah. really cool shrine that we didn't get to investigate. Uh, it's on the coast northeast of us. North. It's northeast. A... Northwest. Excuse me. I look. I just. I was looking. I was looking at a different square, and I was like, "Yeah, right it's there? on the coast." Right there, because yeah. that's the same hex that we had the mm -hmm. dinosaur in. It was on that hex. Oh, that's right. Was that the one that was like off the shoreline that you were? Yeah, that it, we, was uh, it was off, mentioned? off the, off the shore. So it would, uh, yeah, require yeah. us to walk out to it. Or that could be interesting. Or fly. I'm down for whatever. I mean, if we want to just go around picking fights, that's cool. But I'm also down to do some uh, general exploring and adventuring and oh, see what I, happens. I just remember we could since we're at eight. We can get two more feathers, um, but there might be environmental feathers still available because it's only day mm -hmm. two. Absolutely. Anybody else weigh in? Opinion? No, I'm good. Let's do it. <laughs> as long as we're going to fight something. Yeah. All right, so we want to go check out that uh, mental note we made of that offshore temple. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Take some time and you travel back there. You found it last time, so you find the temple of the shrine of Jinyapur. They were a Tamatan god, as you can. You having Donnie with you? She has some basic knowledge, so I'll give you that too. Jinyapur was a Tamatan god of sailing, swimming, and the wind. Wind. Um, hmm. how far offshore is it? This is Danger Island. I don't know if we want to walk out on the water. Uh, no, no, no that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> by, uh, it is far enough out that you would need on. to swim to get to it, but not so far out that you're like, uh oh, the undertow's going to drown me. Ah, see? See? I get you, Sarge. I appreciate you living on the coast. <laughs> um. Uh, 
<laughs> we could get four people out there for a level two spell. I I, I have a ring. I know, I have a ring too. <laughs> I was, I was planning on making you carry two, two extremely heavy people. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, sure. But I don't know if we want to use a. If everyone's fine, I I can, I can uh, use use a ultra buff Baldric to get us all out there. Mm -hmm. If you want to, it's up to you. Or we can. Or we can just send a couple people. Like I'm the only one that's not. The rings don't require them. attunement, so you can trade them off. Yeah, like I don't need. Like, oh I'm sure, we're gonna one. do this. Two people out, one person back. Two people out, one person back. <laughs> <laughs> we could, or the two people that have really like all three of you have high strength. Like I'm the only one that needs to walk. Or give me carry. a ring and I'll carry you. Uh Bink gives the ring to Aduna. <laughs> she is very strong. Hop on back. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bink kind of. Actually, like... I don't have to kneel down because I'm short. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he just walk into me yeah yeah i'm just gonna i'm gonna just so, uh, are you fine with uh carrying me on your shoulders yeah yeah okay so so pink just <laughs> sits down on aduna's broad shoulders <laughs> uh and uh, uh Vol Volthan, are you fine with uh baldrick carrying you let's go <laughs> I'm like 99% sure. They're they're gonna gonna leave they're gonna we're going to just leave Bant here. We're just leave Bant behind. We're going to say she's just not with you Bank? today. Yeah, she, okay. Well, yeah. Perfect. Anyway, then that's... Oh, yeah, she or piece. she's hanging out with you all, but I do, like Minerva is just present. She's right. letting you all have this fun. We're just not going to focus on her character. Right, right, right. Today. That's what I was getting at, is though we have enough um, covered now to just walk across. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out the shrine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, the only person with religion checks, though. <laughs> We've left behind for the day. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, oh, I forgot to open Sirenscape. We were getting some meadow tunes. It was pretty nice. Metal? Hell yeah. Meadow. Not, not no. quite like, the same. Not, not quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> did, did you see the Sardaukar uh, rock thing that I uh, posted in the media chat a couple days ago? No, I I was probably at work, so I didn't listen to it. When you get a chance, look it up. It's hilarious. Okay. And it actually bops. <laughs> oh. No, I've got Coast. This is like the stuff I fall asleep to at night. Baldrick's just or... drops both in there. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> um, I mean, there's no trouble for you, Al. You managed to walk your way out to the mm -hmm. to the shrine. You can see the various wave-like swimming and sailing related iconography across the shrine it appears that the gods of the tamatama -tama represented with humanoid forms i'd like to use my stone mason's tools to investigate and see if there's any uh i guess how to place things like hidden compartments or Make an intelligence check with your uh, proficiency in carpenter's tools. Okay, so intelligence. Uh, I forget what that is. I'm just going to roll straight. Um, I'm just going to roll investigation, and then I think, what, I forget what my profi proficiency for the, uh, is it just a proficiency bonus in general? If you, hmm. yeah. Because you're using the tools, it gives you a proficiency. Okay. If you already have proficiency, you get advantage, I believe. You can tell that the craftsmanship on this was incredibly well made, and whoever placed this here accounted for 
the tidal forces and wave action here, but over time, wind and water has started to erode away at the designs here, but you can still make out a lot of the detailing here. You can tell that whatever this god's purpose was, these people were really into swimming. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Athletes, my people. <laughs> Stone working. Is there athletes. anything underneath the water line with the shrine besides just a base or is it does it continue underwater or is it just pretty much like a i mean yeah like it's a it's a large statue that is anchored on the bottom Mm, okay but you don't find any hidden compartments or any of the sort on it doesn't seem like it served that sort of purpose right right literally a, a, a beacon for people that were swimming or sailing or something like that you can tell that it was likely moved here in stages Mm. but it doesn't appear that there are any secret compartments on it. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Well, it's a rock. (laughs) (laughs) An exquisitely carved rock, but a rock nonetheless. I'll give it a reverent bow and step back, unless anybody else has any ideas. No, nope, no blood here. Um, <laughs> Bink will will look at Aduna and say, "Hey, could you let me down? I want to see. Uh, I want to see if I can swim down, and check out the base of this. See how okay. how deep." I it. lower you like half an inch and then walk out from beneath you. <laughs> I splash. <laughs> splash. <laughs> uh, how uh, how we're we're kind of close to the coast. How murky is the, the water here? Not at all. It's it's surprisingly clear. You can see down there are fishes swimming below you, and you can see that there's an oyster bed of some sort that is formed around the base of the statue. Uh, can I swim down like 15 feet and just keeping my hand on the rock face to see if it changes texture or anything like that down towards the base? Uh, Sure. Make a perception check or investigation check your choice. I am terrible at both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll take the 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 plus one, I guess. Your eyes are drawn to the various iconography of the people swimming, and it seems to form some sort of a crisscrossing pattern around the statue. Oh, so it's, um... Like, if there were people, they would cross paths as they, like, swam around in circles down to the bottom? Is that what it... Mm, make a religion check. Mm. Hard to say. Swimming seemed important to these people, though. Well, uh, Bink will return to the surface before he he gets into any trouble. Well, it's 5th edition, so you can hold your breath for, like, five minutes. I can. (laughs) (laughs) I do not need to test fate. (laughs) That seems like a bad idea. Uh, I'll say, oh, the, uh, the iconography continues down towards the base. But, uh, Let's go find our first match of the day. There is a fight site. Fight site. Immediately to our northeast. Or actually, it's almost due north. Right? North, northeast, rather. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm cool with heading there. See if anybody uh, mm-hmm. is in the area. Yeah. Do you want to go up along the coast and then cross over just to cover some adventuring, uh, exploring in case? Oh, yeah, we could actually do that. We might find um, some other teams uh, home site if we go through yeah. those two other hexes and then come down to it. Mm-hmm. That's fair. I think it's your roles and we have like 30 points to deal with. I think I'm, I got to go look at it. Yeah, and I finally uh, now I remember that I have a proficiency in survival, so I won't be rolling at plus one. That's fun. <laughs> Travel rules. 
Yeah, so we'll go up to yonder. Just walking along the coastline, doing the rocky Apollo montage, training montage on the beach. No, 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 no. These these are nice beaches. This is um, Chariots of Fire. Uh, nice, open, <laughs> clam, mm. clam bed uh, beaches. Sounds rough on the feet. Uh, make a survival check, Baldrick. Yep. While exploring this particular hex near the coast, you find yourself near a, a peak that looks out across the ocean, and there is another shrine here. And Dani says this is the shrine to Kentiani, who is the Tomatan god of charity, feasts, and cooks. Uh, Aduna. Perhaps you can you see iconography of food and pots and cooking all over the shrine, and it seems that mirth was a big part of that. Mm. Hmm. If we find ourselves in the area, maybe we can eat lunch here. Oh, I could cook great food here. <laughs> Inspired by the gods. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, what's my... Aduna, make a intelligence check with your cooking tools. Oh, God. <laughs> You've got int. It's fine. No, I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, do that. In... I think this is right. One of the things you can tell from looking over the shrine is however these people worshipped, it was an active experience for them. They didn't just sit around and have people drone at them. Good. They, it seems that however they performed worship, they performed the acts related to those gods based upon your studies of the shrine here. That's pretty cool. I'll relay that information to the rest of them. All right, so you're telling me that <clears throat> if we come back here for a meal, we have to party. We have to do whatever the associated gods would, you know, favor. Not necessarily mm. party. Um, I do have some ale. With that new information, <laughs> Bink will relay what the depictions on the other shrine were of groups of individuals swimming across each other down towards the base. So... If it's all about the action depicted for worship, that's what the last shrine was about. Hmm. Do we want to go uh, to the peninsula? Northeast. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, hit the coast. Beach episode. That is a beach episode. <sighs> All right. Make a survival check, Baldrick. Yep. You don't find much, uh, like specifically on this one, because this is mostly a uh, plane heading out towards the ocean, but you do find what appears to be the headquarters of another team and surprisingly there seem to be dozens of people moving around the area <laughs> dozens oh no uh um are they all uh, armed or or is this like the entourage they all look to be armed <laughs> fighters oh, yes <laughs> yes oh, fucking horde so, so before, yes, there is the one team that was supposed to be like a horde of people, right? Yeah, yes. I think so. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we found the like the forty strong, whatever one. <laughs> I want to fight him. Aduna <laughs> saying yes to herself. <laughs> Two people who seem to be sentries notice you all and then whistle. Uh oh. <laughs> And then, like, you see people shuffling in the back, and a person steps forward who's wearing their <laughs> necklace. <laughs> 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 
And he shouts out, we are Hannah's hundreds, and we challenge you to a duel. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We accept. (laughs) I just shout out, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. I wish we had our warlock. (laughs) Their escort. And yours will take you all south to <laughs> one of the fighting sites. I don't think we've used the coast, the beach site yet. Let's do that. No, I don't think oh, so. Oh, boy. Great. This is amazing. This is if everything we, I signed up for. If we had the wizard fight here, it'd be a fight against the wizards of the, on the coast. No. <laughs> no dad jokes. No. <laughs> is the map blacked out for anybody else? Yeah. You uh, can't because I assume that, that we aren't on it yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Patience, young Padawan. Well, I was just curious because it. I can't see. I know, I know. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> I have dark vision. I have dark vision. I can see everything. I have dark vision. Oh man, I do not miss that part of flying on Rotone all the time. Mm. All right, where's our center line? Um, uh, probably like here. Seems about right. I think. Okay. I think I've rearranged everything properly. I think I have. Where are my boys? Yeah, you should all come acro- around to the other side of the boat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Lord, Ducky. But my hiccups? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these beings... Are they human? Or are they? They are a complex collection of humanoids who all okay. look to be armed and ready fighters of various types. Yes. Mm. Uh, make an intelligence check, Walter. We'll see how many you can count. Oh. Um. Oh boy. Oh, everybody moved. Fuck. Where is everybody? Uh, to the right of the ship. Yeah, the boat. Yeah. Got it. As a reminder, you can't be within on the center line. You have to be 15 feet from it. Oh. Oh, so. We go. Oh, right. I forgot that's what it was. All right. Yeah, um, I also the whole party, we're going to be zone. right up on it. Yeah, we all <laughs> loaded into the zone instead of. Oh, um. Yeah, okay. Um. All right. Currently, I've got. Bink and Baldrick in my auras. Um, oh yeah, where are you? Uh, I'm down there apparently now. All right. I mean, like, I'll move. Just like, tell me where you're standing. That's all. Oh, what did you get, Baldrick? There's so many of them, Baldrick. You couldn't tell. They call themselves hundreds. You believe them? Like, holy <laughs> shit! I'm really only counting like 40 people, but if there's hundreds of them, maybe there's some that are hidden. <laughs> <laughs> half, of them, half of them are invisible. Mm. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> hey, hey, Bank. Uh huh. Did you pick up a uh, fireball? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> that's what. That's what the fiend lock is for. Oh, <laughs> did you pick up? Cone of cold? Nope. <laughs> you got lightning bolt, though. I oh, do. Damn. I do have six uses of lightning bolt before I roll to see if it breaks. This is, this is fine. This is fine. We got lightning bolt. It's fine. We're I, good. Also, I also have sunbeam. Uh, That's also really good. Never mind. We're, like if, we're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, oh, I can't, I'm shit. not going to haste people over to I'm probably no. going to give freedom of movement because... If four people were grapple, grapple you, grapple. that'd be real bad. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you guys, say, until the 50-minute mark to plan. You guys can end sooner, but I'll give you until then, and then we'll go through your, your initial actions. Okay. In the meantime, let me go finish plugging in some stat blocks. Hmm. Uh, my, <laughs> first, my first thought is I'm going to turn on my hill room. For resistance to, to bludgeoning and piercing. And <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Why? Oh, so yeah. you though, I sent you. Uh, about how, do you, how to run them? Yeah. Well, that also I got the size wrong. Um, oh, oh, don't worry. I, I okay. plugged that in myself when I okay. set it up. <laughs> um, I, for, I forgot to hit eight on everybody. Or on three people. Um, I'm not going to penalize you for that. You can put eight on people. All right. Do we want aid? Second level spell slot for aid? 
Or uh, what is that, like 5 HP a turn? 5 max HP. Oh, I think that means we got oh. their damage size wrong, Joe. No, we got uh, it. I mean, it's only 5. We already have a bunch of temp HP. If I upcast it, it'll be 10. I balanced it off of tables. Oh. Eh. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm uh, not gonna I'm, not I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna hold off of eight for now. Yeah, hold yeah, on that's a, it, that's yeah. expensive for like five HP. Oh it's yeah, no. That's fine. It just but the nice thing is it lasts all day. So any uh, it lasts any eight day. hours, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Oh, yeah, it's true. Most of the day. And yeah, it only gets dispelled. It that's like it yeah. Anyway, um that's fair. I will during the first action I'd like to probably warding bond Bink. Bink, what's your constitution saving throw? Hi. I'm I'm proficient. <laughs> So you're at like nine. Uh, my con save is uh, plus eight. Okay, so you succeed on everything except a one. Correct. And unless you're next to me, in which case you always succeed. Uh, assume this is assuming that you're taking like less than twenty-one. You're taking twenty-one damage or fewer. I'm going to be um, honest with you. I'm going mm -hmm. to go walk out onto the water and dodge <laughs> ranged attacks. <laughs> All right, that's fine. That's fair. <laughs> Maybe take cover um, behind a rock or two. Should I warding bond a dune? No, a dune has already got resistance. Yeah, Bardic's already got resistance. Maybe uh, what's uh, what's your your paladin thing where you give everybody uh, is the, did you take the one that gives radiant damage to allies near you? Or is that um, yeah, I got. I do have Crusader's mantle. That is a thing. Um, I feel like. See, that's the awkward part, because like, if there's a bunch of people that are going to be punching me, then I'm going to lose a concentration spell, and I'm not quite sure if I trust that. What's Because what's otherwise I'd also go... Save? It's plus uh, five, including... <laughs> Apparently it's plus... Wait, why is it only plus five? Shouldn't it be your... My constitution plus my charisma, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Six. I'm so. It's being weird. Okay, my character sheet's weird. Yeah, it's plus six. Um, so my my save is worse. Um, all right. Do you want warding bond? Yes or no? I think that is a bad idea. Cool. Then I won't. I'll I'll reconsider. Uh, yeah. anybody else have their their plans? Uh. I mean, activating my hill rune and then waiting in is about all I got. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a I don't have a lot of debilitators uh, unless I walk in behind okay. you guys with sunbeam to blind all right. people. If I'm going to be fighting a group of people, I think I'm going to go spirit guard. I'm going to think I'm going to precast spirit guardians. Okay, that as makes sense. as a note for you, Valk. Yes. Mechanically speaking. Yes. You are dealing with a swarm. A gargantuan swarm, not a, uh, a a large collection of creatures. So there's really only going to be one save for spear guardians. Hmm. Okay, but it'll do a full damage, right? Because it's a save and not an attack. Mm, right. I mean, yeah. I mean, swarms generally are vulnerable to like radiant type damage. It's usually physical oh. damage that they outright resist. Yeah. All right. Just making uh, sure you understand, like, tactically what you're going into. I'm not going to hide information like that. Like, you all have walked here. They're going to be behaving like a gargantuan swarm. Okay. That's absolutely fair. Um, if they're going to act like a swarm. You know what? Fuck it. Let's Crusader's Mantle. Ooh! Um, let's just... <laughs> <laughs> like it's gonna soup up our attacks. Our attacks. Are oh, it's like, fun. The attacks are like. I mean, it might get resisted. That's the thing. But we do have a bunch of attacks. So you know what? Fuck it. Let's try. Let's try Crusader's Mantle for today. I like it. Yes to all. Uh, I'm. Is that gonna? Uh, work Bink on is me gonna. Or not? Uh, is going to say, "Hey, who wants freedom of movement? I've got two. Is it an action for Crusader's Mantle? Oh yeah, it is. Cool. Freedom um, of movement. Oh, I, yeah. I, I think I coded Which, it up. So. Which two of you? Let's see. Let's go look uh, at it. Self. Interesting. Let me go read. Uh, cannot be. Cannot have your movement. 
Because I'll have, well, when I make myself giant, I'll have um, a better chance, I think. I'll have advantage against grapples and stuff. Hey! There okay. we go. So, so maybe... I might be okay. Oh, that looks it. correct. Okay, so. Wiggle your uh, character a little bit. Oh, look, they went on to Baldrick right away. Oh, that's that's tasty. Yeah, Boltonir and, and Baldrick. Okay, that's and tasty. The best. So, uh, I love it. My precast is going to be uh, freedom of movement onto Boltonir and Baldrick. Oh, shit. And I'll twin spell that so that. Is that one where I can just upcast? No. No, oh, okay, it's twin spell. No. That's one of the reasons why I suggested it because you're a sorcerer. Yeah, I get the most out of it with the preset. Um, <clears throat> scroll down to. I might use my, I might use my breath weapon as a legitimate breath weapon this time. Oh, and yeah, <laughs> if you uh, plan on doing freedom of movement, yeah, um, Baldrick will never turn down freedom of movement based on his previous experience. <laughs> um, okay, I, we have two minutes left. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Uh, but All right, go ahead. Back. We'll, you don't have to rush. We'll start when you get back. Run! Run! So a Crusader's Mantle. Run. It's a plus D4 uh, radiant damage per attack. Ooh. Um, per, yeah. Like per like once every per attack. turn or every, every attack. attack. It's like <laughs> improved divine smite. Oh, it's like a baby to improve divine smite for. The I team. like it. For everybody. It's divine life. favor for the party. Yeah, there we go. Divine favor for the party. And is it an aura, um, aura thing? Or? Yes, aura. 30 feet. You stay within 30 feet of me, you keep, you keep your D4 damage. Sweet. I um, like that call, because you're correct. There are an active 8 weapon attacks on your party side, so it's a potential extra 8 D4 damage per round. Yeah. What's the average on that, Joe? Oh, I'm glad Joe's here. Can I ask 17? Like 20 damage? What? Average on 8 D4 is, what, 20? 17, 18. 20. Yeah. I ran yeah. it through any dice. Oh, nice. That's not terrible. It feels tasty. Um, spicy. Yeah, spicy. Um, spicy. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Uh, if if I were to do um, like I think that that work that'll work out for us with eight weapon attacks. No, I think it's a good call. I like it. We we never got to use it in previous games because the party was so caster oriented yeah. that it never felt like the right call. Yeah. Um. So eight. That's eight d four versus yeah three d eight and plus yeah. I'm just thinking about dealing with swarms and shit and yeah. I think we'll get more mileage out of it because spirit guardians only triggers at the start of their turn. If there's off turn damage, then we could be fucked. Um. So let's just yeah. Crusaders mantle. Just fucking up. Just fuck them up. I like Fuck it. Up. I like it. I love the energy of that. <sighs> Sitting on that one, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. We're gonna use some things that we haven't used yet. That's fun. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. Like I, I have, have no like I have really finished. no real tactical assumptions about that. I just think it's cool. Because it's a spell I've always liked on Paladins, but it's kind of been one of the mid to low tier ones because most party comps can't benefit from it. I fucking love Crusader's Mantle. Well, you had a fucking monk in your party. <laughs> oh boy, no wonder you loved it. <laughs> Rev has played like 40 levels of Paladin at this point. Oh, yeah, man. probably. Okay, I'm back. Right. I'm ready to go. Nobody has that. played it's more Paladin that I know of than no. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, scrubs. Let's fuck them up or get fucked up. All right, so Wait, how many feathers did we wager? Oh, I'm sorry. This is a two. This is a two feather fight. Yeah, sure. We'll wager two mm -hmm. feathers. It's fine. So Deal. we'll get to ten, and then we won't be able to wager any. We'll just be challenged for ours. For we'll just be attacked. <laughs> We'll All right, or, or we walk to the site. With All right, 15. so Bink cast yeah. freedom of movement. Do you want to move afterwards, Bink? Because you still get movement. Yes, I would like to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Off to the. Try to get over next to the water. Okay. And, um, Minerva's not with us today, unfortunately. 
Baldrick, are there any actions you want to take prior to starting? Um, I mean, you can still dodge. That's still a legal action in this prep round. Yeah, uh, there's really not much I can do besides dodge in case I roll shit initiative. So uh, yeah, I'll do actually, that. Actually, I'd like to get to. I'd like to back up to this rock and have full cover <laughs> instead. You will not get full cover from the rock. Can I get three quarters? No. You can just be standing on the rock. You're fighting like a hundred people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well then, I'm running for the ocean is a better bet then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I can't oh, wait boy. to see this token. Oh, you're going to love it, Ducky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um... um... Minerva, Valdrick, Valtelnir, Cast Crusaders, Mantle, Aduna. Um, all right, we're activating our Hell Rune. All right. Womp. That's my bonus action. Uh, with my action, we will dodge. Okay. And Bucky's like, oh, shit, here we go. I'm about <laughs> to get it now. <laughs> all right. Well... <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll make it big so you can see. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you're fighting. <laughs> Christ, you're fighting a swarm, literally. I love it. A mob. Oh wait, there's forty of them. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I mean, they can One, squeeze. Two, it's got to be bigger. Four. Yeah, I'm making them bigger. Gargantuan starts at 2020. Oh, that's you right, Ducky. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> we're, we're having a battle Seven, on eight. the beach. A pitched battle. <laughs> Alright, I think I need oh, to back fuck. up some. One, two, oh, three, fuck. four, five, six. Mm-hmm. Yes! Yes! Hey, for once, I don't have to worry about moving the map around. They're always going to be in the field. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, there's supposed to be a gap between you all of that. Oh, all right. God. That's what you're fighting today. <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Uh, would you all please roll initiative? <laughs> Would I ever? <clears throat> um, rolling twenties. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Nice. Ten. We're in it. <laughs> Anna, roll. Hannah's hundred gold on eleven. Where did we fall in the initiative? Oh, we're in the middle. That's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. All right, fall from there. You're up first. <laughs> What would you like to do? Okay. Um, only thing we can do. Charge! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, do I take any effects from moving up to them? Uh, no. Alright. <laughs> I think I, I think that was fine. I think that was legal. We did not give them like a they're coming right for us reaction. I should have given them one though. <laughs> oh, I'm, just make, I'm just making sure they were worse than like an aura or something that they're like just bristling with with attacks. It's kind of fun. They've got too many um, swords. No, no, I don't think I'm gonna give them a. They're coming right for us reaction. It would be funny though. All right. Well, nah, no, no, no pike pole arm masters in the front. <laughs> You see that they had like a front line of people <laughs> with shields who were bracing for you, but you still managed to get through. <laughs> <laughs> we burn a I'm going to burn a first level spell slot for smite. Okay. First fight of the day, let's burn all our features. Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't fucking <laughs> Come on. <laughs> don't don't shame me for smiting. Oh no, I'm not shaming you. I Ducky's want you to burn all of your Ducky's like, "Yes, good. <laughs> Please." <laughs> this is the opposite of shame. <laughs> Those they have drop. sustained damage. Those blood droplets <laughs> right. are bigger than our characters. <laughs> Let's make a second attack. Drop uh. the drop the crit, but we're rolling high anyway. All right, and we'll just make this a regular attack. Okay. 
Okay. Um, so radiant I... damage seems to be very effective against oh. them. The physical damage does not seem to be so. That's fine. All right. Um, no bonus actions to be had here, so we're just going to move on. At the end of your turn, uh -huh. the swarm is going to use a legendary action. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Do we lose Crusader's Mantle on turn one? Let's go! <laughs> How far away is Baldrick from them? 30 feet. <laughs> no, he's 35, technically. Oh? Well, no, I mean, like, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Baldrick is safe this round. Nah, I'm just going to oh. redesign the single step block single... in the middle of the battle. Whoa. Oh, single on. beat of sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they're a swarm. They can just move on top of me. Mm, they do, but they want to... The action economy is not on their side for what they're trying oh, to do for that. Got it. And it is legendary action. Never mind. Okay. Actually, no, what you're thinking is fine, Sarge. Yeah, no, you know exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> no, do that. That's perfect. They're going to burn two legendary actions and use Intimidation. Oh, <laughs> There's a bunch of people who weirdly look like casters in the back who start trying to scare the shit out of Baldrick. <laughs> oh, Baldrick, please make this. <laughs> it's 18. Baldrick, Baldrick is uncertain. Baldrick is frightened. <laughs> <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway, it's your turn, Baldrick. <laughs> hey, look, the fright, the, the fear, the anti-fear aura is <laughs> 30 feet forward. Fuck everything. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> I love this so much. God, I'm green. Actually, who would they be more frightened of? All right, we're gonna roll. We're gonna do a roll off real quick. Uh, Biggles and Ducky, uh, roll d20s. The person who rolls lowest, that's the person I'm gonna target with their intimidation effect. I mean, you did it. Oh. It's fine. Just com we can just commit to it. It's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just I'll just stick with it because Baldrick's a big ass boy, so yeah. he seems intimidating. Yeah. Ducky like... didn't Ducky didn't swell herself up yet. They would have maybe been like, "That's a big ass dwarf." <laughs> <laughs> Is there a rage feature later down the road where you can't be frightened when you're in a rage, or am I just that making things up? That exists for the Berserker Barbarian. Berserker. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. I, I just went to <laughs> everybody's like, "That seems rage. bad." has not played at the level of the game where everyone <laughs> is frightening everyone all the time. Right, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, I'll do what I can, and that is not much in the mm -hmm. sense of, well, shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of wish I had that lightning bolt now. <laughs> you can still, you can still shoot, shoot with your champion bow. I know. <laughs> and, like, you're, all, it's, you're at disadvantage anyway. It doesn't matter. All right, yeah, shoot with my champion bow. Let's go. Uh, if I'm just, all right, I'll shoot the javelin. Yeah, do that damage. <laughs> Wait, no, no, javelin's thirty sixty, I think, and I'm thirty five. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, it's your. Yeah, if you're shooting with the jab with the bow, it doesn't matter. The bow is seventy five when like whatever. Yeah, I'll just shoot with the regular bow then. I mean, the, I'm saying the champion's bow can shoot a javelin. Oh, yeah. I just thought that the range with the javelin was significantly lower. No, no, no. It's the range of the champion bow, which is half when you're oh, doing the spear okay. javelin thing. Gotcha. It's so weird to hear the noises. I know, yeah. <laughs> Load up First attack javelin misses. Two. Oh, yeah. This is. I'm out of this fight, y'all. <laughs> fucking wisdom save. You're not. It's resetting expensive. Resetting. It costs them to talk 13. to. Cost them two legendary actions for that. This yeah. is fine. They're, well, I'm I mean, they're just gonna get them back on their turn. So. Aduna. Uh. You know what? You can still rage. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and that way, if uh, they decide to attack um, Volthamir, please. Yeah. Yep. I'll go into a rage, but be timid. Timid about moving forward, <laughs> like there's a line drawn in the sand. Fuck. That's fine. I'll just. Yes. 
I'll just I think disengage. I can actually affect everybody. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm so happy I did the stat block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Me too, dude. <laughs> Oh, this is about to be fucking funny. All right. Hannah's hunches oh. are going to start swarming over you. It had a legendary action at the end of Baldrick's turn. Oh, you're correct. Thank you, Joseph. So glad Joe is here. <laughs> <laughs> I got backup DM help, finally. <laughs> it's, it's a 2v4 <laughs> week, apparently. Oh, we're just going to make an attack. We're going to use... All right. Oh, Rain of Knives. It's a ten foot square. That seems efficient. <clears throat> so, Baldric and Aduna, you all are gonna have a Rain of Knives thrown your way. You both must make dexterity saving throws. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and you both sustain Oh my we fucking took, god. We took like eleven? Eleven so damage. He uh, would have taken. He would have taken five, I think, because of all the bullshit. Well, I'm well, down. We we lost eleven. Yeah, you lost eleven from the temporary hit. Points. Oh, did it not mark it as piercing damage? No, it should have been piercing. I, I thought it's partially resisted. It and it was absorbed, so I think it worked. Would've it it would have been like 22, 22 damage base. But it didn't half the damage for some reason. Oh, so it was 11 oh, damage. On our, on our failure. That they rolled. But we failed. Well, they failed, so they took full damage. Oh. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. yeah we, we failed. Is, it's just that we... Okay, yeah. it's our turn! He move Go over on. the paladin. All right. They're gonna uh, swarm over all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, God, I'm targeting myself. I need to target Vault on here. Uh-huh. Damn it! Oh, it seems like you're big. in a pickle here. They're too big. I can't even target Vault on here. Can you like move them to the back or something? I don't know what tokens can do. Uh, hold control. Target! Fuck! Can you target on the combat tracker? No, for some reason they won't let me. Uh, no. They've got the... Con I mean, there's ways to do it. Like control... You can control click on the tra combat tracker with when you have the... Okay, I got you now. Yeah. Okay. They I, I, are I'm, going to start walking over Volthonir. I'm sure they are. <laughs> and then they're going to use run them over. Okay. <laughs> and they're going to move over your entire party. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, and I mean everyone, must succeed on the strength saving throw. Oh my god, I'm rolling shit. Oh, I just made it. Holy shit. Bink failed. Let's see. I failed. Bink and I failed. Everybody else succeeded. Oh, fuck. Where is Bink? Oh, interesting. Run them over to not get half. For some reason. Let me hot fix this. I'll fix this damage in a second in case it doesn't trigger properly for some of you. You take 4d8 plus 6 bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. Alright, I succeeded on concentration, so that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Everyone who failed is also knocked prone. Great. Is that supposed to deal damage to the success people? It is. I'm about to get to you all okay. in a second. Okay. okay. Alright, I need to target Baldrick and... Aduna, am I successfully targeting them? Man, what the hell is happening with Hannah's hundreds right now? It's too Baldrick big. And Aduna, I'm gonna mark that as half. It's Let's inflicting it's damage probably. on fantasy grounds. <laughs> did you guys take damage? No, no you did not. All right, so you two take half. Oh, that was stupid. Son of a bitch! Alright. Do 
Why you no work? Okay. We're done! Cool. So, this team of people literally trampled your party and knocked two of your motherfuckers down. Okay. And... That is their turn. Are they still dodging? Uh, no. Let me remove dodge. It might, it might just disappear on the next turn. Uh, once you move off to Bink. Bink! You're up. I would like to use half my movement to stand up. You may do so. <laughs> um, can you remove the prone effect? No. Oh. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> I was like, hey, my <laughs> stuck here? Do I need to crawl? <laughs> um, uh, I want to use five of my movement to move south. Or ten of my movement to move south. That leaves me with. I've used twenty. I've used twenty-five to get to there. Uh, Wait, that's not difficult it? terrain for you. It's just twenty. Oh, okay. Okay. It's the ring of water walking, right? You got that. Yeah, right? yeah no, no. no mm -hmm. I'm, but I, I figured there, there. You're square exiting. Was... You're exiting difficult terrain. The train you're entering is not difficult terrain. Thank yeah. you. I'm, I'm, I'm always. You're twenty. Yeah. Um. Probably going to. What's what? What do you think the opportunity attack is going to be on this? It's probably gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. I'm going to disengage <sighs> and move Fine. ten more feet, <laughs> and then I'm you going. You got him to hunt himself. I'm going to uh, going to quicken mind sliver. Uh, had some random dude on the edge. <laughs> okay. Uh, and because I quickened, I also get to use my fire shard. You do. There's the mind sliver. They are not very tough in that regard. Cool. And then here is the bar realm shard. Let's see if they're all right. You bad touch the Hannah's hundreds. Uh, that is my turn. Let me mark my sorcery points. Do they take no damage on a failure from that? Uh, they they pass. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They even even though with the negative d4. They... I just I don't know if it was a half nah, damage yeah. on success type of nah, thing because it's a. Okay, at the end of your turn, mm -hmm. they're going to use a legendary action called Kick Them While They're Down. <laughs> uh -huh. Go on. Oh my god. Whoops, I need to fix the wording on this. Melee weapon attack. If it works, I'm going to spirit shield it if, if, if they're going for Volthanir. They are absolutely going for Vault on here. <laughs> uh, let me know the one to apply the negative uh, 3d6 effect. You will want to apply it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you take... Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> the damage works out mathematically. <laughs> Joe said we're going to die. <laughs> The damage works out mathematically, they say. <laughs> How many legendary actions was that? Are you allowed One. to tell us? One. One. <laughs> you Ouch. took... All right. Well, Crusader's Mantle was a fun time. <laughs> oh, no. You got to make sure you apply it to the person, not the person doing the damage, not the person attacking. Oh. All right. So you reduced that damage by 11 instead so 42 became 31. DC and I was still, still 15. Okay. But I got to give you your hit points back. So instead of 50 wound, you're at 39 wound. Okay. Aduna, it's your turn. I am Megan. 
that a bonus action for you? Yeah, it's a bonus oh action. Oh god. <laughs> Please slice. <laughs> slice. Slice. <laughs> Alright, let's move Aduna down slightly. You can move down using arrow keys. Yeah, I use the arrow keys to, to get away from the... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, and then I can swing. <laughs> Ducky's like, finally! <laughs> Nobody's <laughs> running from me for once! <laughs> That's a one. What is That's that? a one. A one. No! <laughs> That's a one. Oh my god. That's three swings. I think that's it. Um... Oh. And then we'll go turn, because there's no reason to move. They're right where I want them. On top. At the end of your turn, <laughs> they're going to use another legendary action. To kick them while they're down! <laughs> How unoriginal. <laughs> well, I guess I should have left them up. Oh, well. Nice. No. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Give me, my eight, give me my 88 bludgeoning damage. I think I meant to have kick them while they're down be two legendary actions. We'll make it two. That seems fair. Nope. It's one. <laughs> no, it does too much damage. It does too much it does too much damage. It takes too much damage if it's uh nope. if it's commit one. to it. I'll take it. I, this is my punishment. Give it to me. <laughs> okay, Jesus is don't, <laughs> don't you don't you fucking don't you fucking back down. The, you the person who go. designed it wait. said wait. No, no, it's still no no no, it's still good because we'll just roll this into Whirlwind of Blades instead. Alright. Alright. <gasps> Oh, yeah, kick the other down is definitely supposed to be two. Nah, I was con I was looking at it and I'm like, that seems like a lot. <laughs> We're gonna use Whirlwind of Blades at the end of a Ducky's turn. So you all must make a dexterity saving throw instead. Okay. And you take sixty-eight plus six slashing damage. Cool. There you go. See, I still did a fuckload of damage to you. Don't feel bad. I got you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, Minerva's not here. Walton here, it's your turn. Okay. Um, am I allowed to stand up? Absolutely. All There's right. people all around you. <laughs> am I permitted to move through the crowd, or will I? Or do I expect to receive opportunity attacks from my? They are a swarm, so you're inside of the creature. You can't get opportunity attacked inside of a swarm. Great. Then what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm. this is difficult terrain, right? Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. You have freedom of movement. I think he's trying to... Oh, that's true. You can move through the crowd, no problem. Oh, cool. You just slide past all of their <laughs> So, well, freedom of movement means that that doesn't have... I still have half my movement from standing up, right? Correct. So you still have... But you still have 15. You can still move three squares. All right, well, I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm still on range of Baldric, so um, I can't do... I don't have any movement baked in, in the end of my ability. Oh, Baldric is no oh. longer frightened, by the way. Oh, hey. Baldric I think is that only lasts until the end of, the, end of, the of their turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're no longer frightened, Baldric. Okay. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> and they've used... Three legendary actions. Um, because they used Whirling Blades. Yes, they use they kick them while they're down and they use Whirling Blades. All right. Baldrick, I'm assuming that they've only got three legendary actions, so get closer to me um, <laughs> on your turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, God damn it. All right, I'm in real bad shape. Um, I love this tab like Joe. This is my favorite thing we've ever created together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, man. God, I don't. Um, <laughs> that's fine. You know what? This is fine. You all watch as this bunch of people pulled out scimitars and all started stabbing Baldinier. <laughs> and the dude was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's like he got out of got. 300. He got got. All right. Then what I'm going to do is this is going to be stupid, but I, I like it. Know if, I don't I even like know if it. this Go is a good it. idea. Go for it. I was going to use Devotee's sensor and dodge. Mm! 
That's not terrible. Go for it. Oh, no, it's, that's it's actually of... very funny. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't actually do much for me. Well, it doesn't that's do anything for them because it doesn't affect half of the swarm. Nah. There's still a creature who is within, who counts us within the space of it. I'm going to let it ride. Damn it. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. All right, what does Devotee Sensor do? Is it, it's at the start of... It's at the start of my next turn. It'll start doing things. Oh, God. Fucking damn it. Mm -hmm. All right, I've wasted way too much time here. We're just going to... We're going to commit to the Devotee Sensor, and we're going to take the dodge action. When does it... What does the wording on it say for its triggering effects? I'm pretty sure it's the start of my turn. I'm looking okay. at Indie Beyond right now. Features and traits. Nope. Inventory. Devotee Sensor does... Bonus action. Speak the command word. 10 feet. One minute, start of each of your turns, and you and any other creatures in the incense regain 1d4 hit points. So it won't be until okay. people get close to me. Okay. All right, tap me the button when you're done. All right. Baldrick Ramsey, it's your turn. Heeding the advice of my paladin, I will get closer. <laughs> and I will finally <laughs> get the swing at this horde. Uh, la, 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 la. we will go reckless. Cause that's what we do here. First attack. Second attack. And the frost brand for the first swing. Right, leave them alone. So what did that actually do there? Ten. Okay. And yeah, I am close to my friend. Uh, that's my turn. All right. I don't have anything cute. I'm going to add the spirited uh, effect onto them. And yes, do we have, do we have do. everything else uh, already applied. The other effect. I think everyone else still has the protectors one on. Okay. Hmm. Multi attack. Multi attack. Rain of knives. And I forget, then, then if they do get through after they make an attack with disadvantage, then I apply the uh, resist all, right? Yes. There is hundreds. Hmm. Interesting. They are going to use Whirlwind of Blades. Technically, this is normally like an attack. This is like a saving throw, not an attack. But I'm going to allow you to use your uh, your spiritual protectors here. So apply resist all to Valk. There's your. Oh wait, this actually applies for everybody, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, that's fucking annoying. Apply the resist all to Aduna and. I mean, Aduna would resist it anyway, so it's okay. Oh, that's correct. Just apply it to Valtonir. Okay. Applied. Okay. So you motherfuckers take a dexterity save. Oh, was I not targeting everybody? I don't think you targeted me. Damn it! Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Baldry, make a dexterity saving throw. I'll just handle yours manually real quick. I just took... Did I take more damage there? Jeez. Oh, no, we're good. It's a DC God, you rolled a save. zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And... Oh, you failed too. Get wrecked. Oh, I was rolling my dex. You already applied the damage to, uh, Volthanir? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, he got resisted because of your. I'll leave it feature. Hmm. 
I oh, wait, we chance. didn't kick nothing. anybody while they were down. I didn't set that up. <laughs> Shit! Suck to suck. Don't you worry. All right, Bink, it's your turn. Uh, Don't worry, it happens to everyone. <laughs> Sorry, just, I was I wanted to spirit shield that, but I was rolling the dex manually. I think um, the spirit shield work on any things? damage or like uh, attack damage. Why am I at 15 wood instead of... Because I had five. heal and I used my turn properly. Oh, jeez, what the fuck? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you mad lad. Uh, any damage. Uh, damage. Any damage. Yeah. All right. Roll three d six. Bink said you're not out of this yet. I mean, I knew I wasn't out of it, but I uh, <laughs> didn't necessarily need, even need Bink though. That was cool though. Thank you. All right. Well, oh, they have heal. Uh, Serge, it can go back to being one legendary action. I <laughs> the, the heal's gone. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Fuck off, it could have been one version of action from the start. <laughs> All right, at the end of Cowards. your turn, uh, Bink, they're going to use run them over with two actions. They're going to wiggle this way. And then I need to target you motherfuckers again. Okay. And I'm going to knock you bitches down! <laughs> so how many of them are prone in the water? As, as the no, I'm, no, I'm moving them so I can target. Oh, you can target. Having, I was like, I was like man, issues. you're coming for me. <laughs> oh my God. Did you all fucking succeed this time? Son of a bitch. Oh, I was a straight thief. Never mind. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> like, I still only have a 50% chance of making that save, so. Oh, shit. Did it untarget all of you? Ah, friggity fuck. Well, I mean, it doesn't. I mean, it'll still. A, if it gives a half damage effect, it'll still do it. Nah, it's because of where I, I pulled it from. Oh, wow. Okay. I fucked myself. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, oh. It. I didn't nerf it. I had to be a con save. Why would it be a con save, though? Like, they're getting physically it. shoved around. Oh, I, I was thinking of Pathfinder, where mm -hmm. it's a fort save. Stay up. Because fort and, re and strength are in the yeah, same strength stat. strength and con. Yeah, strength okay. Of anyway, Aduna. Thanks, <laughs> it's still your turn. Val goes. Why do I only have fifteen wound? The sorcerer, dude. <laughs> I, um... I didn't hear the sorcerer say I heal you. No, you didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. You didn't say anything. Jazzy just quickly cast it. Is like, oh, it's looking bad, sports fans. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jazzy. Well, it, was, it made it really simple when you had a seventy wound, and that's what I could heal. Perfect. Anyway, Ducky, continue to do your thing. All right, I'm activating my storm wound with my bonus action. Oh, of course you are. <laughs> I activate all my features. <laughs> round by round, <laughs> Ducky's like. <laughs> There's just new glowing runes on her every single round. It was gone for her first. I should have. I usually go after her first because I want to avoid this fucking nonsense. <laughs> Aduna is nonstop Two. bedazzled. <laughs> Got more more gemstones than Elton John over here. Nice. All right, that's uh, that's turn. I'm saving my room for my saves. So I imagine Aduna like running a palm over parts of her armor <laughs> or her blade, and it's like a sequence. So it, like, oh it, shit, none of you are fucking hurt. Your own. Yeah. What the fuck? We saved. I didn't get to kick anybody where they're down, though. That's the opposite of fun for me. Oh, did you move? Oh, you're... yeah. Yeah, he's got a target. Still running in for some reason, I'm having a difficult time oh, okay. targeting from the combat tracker, and I don't know why. That's okay. All right. We're going to use Whirlwind of Blades on you motherfuckers. Okay, so everybody makes a dexterity saving throw. What? Double oh, ones? I'm a. I, I'm. Oh, it's wow. Dex. I'm probably gonna fail anyways. Never mind. I'm just let it I'm ride. I'm updating this as we as I watch this fight to for a V2. In case you <laughs> we're gonna need we're gonna use this again later at some other <laughs> some unsuspecting <laughs> party. <laughs> um, is coming in clutch. Make sure you're still on Valfonir, Baldric. I need to just double check, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Resist yes, all. It is. <clears throat> God damn it. 
Okay. Uh, <sighs> so at the it's now Balthelnir's turn. You may okay. proceed. Boy, I've been paying way too much attention to everybody else's turns. <laughs> Shit ass. All right. <laughs> oh boy, is it worth? Does that one d four kick in, or did it automatically? It did roll? not kick in for some. Oh reason. no 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 no. It only happens on the start of my turns. I removed it because it was giving everybody regen. That mm. was not what was intended. The intent is that regen happens on the start of everybody's turns. That's not what's <laughs> supposed to happen. So I'm gonna just I'm just targeting uh, everyone. Bink get it. Bink doesn't get it. Bink doesn't get it. Neither does Duna because she didn't move close enough to me. And notably, the monster doesn't get oh, it. Oh well. No, they get it. I don't uh, know where. Swarms can't that. regain HP. Ooh. I'm gonna need to see the the rule on that one. Sarge, do you have a ruling on that one for like a, a an impromptu ruling for that? Does it? You said it gained. Oh the no, HP it's part right? of the swarm text. The swarm can't regain oh. HP or temp HP. Oh yeah, that is part of the stat block. The swarm does not regain HP. Well then, I guess this turned out to be a better choice than that than I originally thought. <laughs> Damn, I could have used mass cure we, wounds. We get plus <laughs> mass cure wounds. Doesn't you don't need to target them. Is it just an area point? effect? Oh, that's a weak girl. Is it everybody, or you yeah. just select people? Creatures in a 60-foot. I thought it was all creatures. I can look. Big deal. Yeah, it isn't. Yeah. I think I you know. select from Ask Your Wounds. It's just not, a, not like a big AOE. It's a, it's a cleric spell. I expect. Anyway! Anyway, that happened. Uh, Baldrick and I regain 1 HP. Um, a... I don't know if I want to be able... I don't know if I want to spend any more spells. Oh! You know what? Fuck it. Here we go. All right, first attack is going to be... I'm going to replace one of my attacks with a Dragon Breath. Okay. Uh, I'm going to target Hannah's Hundreds and not Baldric. Not yourself either. And not myself either. That's very important. <laughs> <laughs> and um, with Breath Weapon, I can choose to replace one of my attacks with an Exhalation of Magical Energy. Sure. Um, they, they've got to make a dexterity saving throw, so I'm going to force that on them. I'm just pointing in a direction. Is this legal? Does this work? Is that all, all they did. take? That seems wrong. They. It's a. Oh, yeah. Wait, it increases. Yeah, I didn't. Up, I increased the damage. That's my bad. I'm going to roll two more d10 and apply this as cold damage to them. Sorry. Taking up a 10 damage. All right. Yeah, I didn't increase guys, it from. You guys aren't really inflicting save on them. That that was a save, but I mean, like in general, like the party isn't like I'm gonna crush you. Oh, I can't grapple them. <laughs> um, they're and... going to use. Let's see, whose turn is coming up? Um, I'm Ooh. not. What's is this a reaction? Mm, I'm. It's legendary resistance. Oh, okay. <laughs> they're gonna use it for a very specific reason. All right, so they they take two more damage from the cold breath. All right, Wait, second attack. Why, why do they take two? I'm so confused. You rolled six. Plus, so you rolled a total of 16. eighteen. I rolled, you rolled a total eight, of sixteen. Sixteen. So they took. Okay. Okay. I got it. Cool. Cool. Math. Sorry. Okay. Uh, second attack is an actual attack. Bonk. Oh, we did and it. And they've got seventeen. <laughs> they've got at least seventeen AC. So, all right. Next turn. All right. Ball trick. <laughs> My also built, uh, turn. Oh, I meant to go reckless. Of course, there's more than one. <laughs> you called it as you were rolling. Roll a second attack. Uh, yeah, I'll just and I'll I'll go reckless on this very next one. Okay, yeah, because I moved reckless down to my hot bar. There it is. Second attack. Well, that bounces nice. out, I suppose. Nice. And the frost brand. Wow. Yes! We well, still have there. more than half our max HP. <laughs> I was waiting. I was I've been sitting here like, oh. <laughs> um, <Dude. laughs> oh god. All right. I hate to do this retroactively, but could I have moved to the, uh, within ten feet of uh, Duna? Sure, I'll allow it. All right. Thank you. Okay, we're um, spirited, and I will apply the resist all to the donut. Over here trying to make sure we stay in auras. I'm just over here like, I can't see shit. I'm a hit. Yeah. Um, 
I actually can't get to you because there's a token in the way. So you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. It's fine. Use your arrows. Oh, there you go. Down, over. There you go. There we go. Done. Yeah, what I, I would have done, be. Velk, is just use the arrow keys until it pops up on the combat tracker. I don't. I didn't think. I didn't think that I could move. Move your token where you want to be. That's where I want to be. I moved, he, he, he moved down diagonally. So if you click on your uh, portrait, it selects your character token, and you can. Good to know. Yeah. I'll do that in the future. Yeah. Oh, Hannah's hundreds. What are we I gonna do this time? I was still blind, but yeah, sure. <laughs> no, you're good. Man, they're so fucking tough. It's hard to knock them down. Oh, we should pick a square. I think we were technically up here. Ah, it's just so fun to run people over. Bank from the outside. The bodies shift sideways. He <laughs> hears screams. Yeah, we're gonna just run you fuckers over again. Oh boy. What is that one? Strength? Yes. Run them over! I hope they fail. Mm -hmm. mm. I just rolled double ones again. Yeah! A, yes! A bad Are you going to use your reaction, Ducky? Um, yeah, can I use it for Baldur or Volthanir to give them advantage? Let's give Volthanir a second save. Hmm. Oh. No! <laughs> 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 All right, I'll take it. Thank you very much. That's my reaction this round. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, but Baldrick's prone. <laughs> but he was already reckless! We were only get free- Oh, but now we can use our legendary action against him. It's fine. Like Baldrick can take it. <laughs> I'm gonna stab his ass. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll remember to use my interception. Oh my god. On that. Oh, I can You're definitely it. gonna want to in a second here. Okay. Alright, Bing, it's your turn. Uh, aiming away from the, well, or the place that I last <laughs> saw my friends, <laughs> uh, I aimed the wand of lightning bolt and fired off at the uh, straight line north of me. I'm going to move over to this rock and go straight north. Okay. And... No, that's the wrong one. I want the wand. Where's the... Where's my... Did you uh, click... Uh, the white button in your inventory so it shows up on your sheet? It is shown up on my sheet but the um, I don't have the wand icon for lightning bolt. Mm. Uh, it's under your equipped items. Here is the cast. Just click one of the charges. Oh, it, oh, that's how I do it for... Got it. Alright, for very specific reason. Oh, I don't think it's going to matter. I mean, they can... I mean... Reducing by 17 still puts them... No! <laughs> what, what mechanic have we run Damn. into? Well, they're going to be under half their max HP now. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if i reduce by 17 if we choose to succeed that puts us at 153 no damn it oh well Wait, 153 mm -hmm. that's over half i mean 153 wounds so they're 147 oh damn i know <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to take a step back in case there's repercussions. Eh, there's my turn. Damn it! Fuck him up, Aduna. <clears throat> At the end of your turn, they're going to kick Baldrick while he's down. Alright, I'm going <laughs> to intercede. Alright, make sure you drop interception on the, the uh, blah 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 on, on Hannah's the, themselves. That's what I was planning on doing. We go. Wrong person. Okay, we are targeting Baldrick. I got his ass this time. <laughs> first things first. 
Wiggle your big toe. <laughs> Sweet baby I mean, Jesus. I'm also going to Stone's Endurances. <clears throat> Do I put that on you or me? It's a me. negative. Uh, yeah. These motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> is this still minus four or is it should be a proficiency bonus? <laughs> oh thank god a oh. bunch of people pull out their scimitars again and start running through the middle of the crowd and as they're all about to stab baldrick Valtonir oh, swings ambulance. back with his sword no, not for me. with his shield knocking multiple swords away and baldrick just sort of flexes <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of them just don't pierce his skin and there's this weird confusion but one guy manages to stab and he's like, I got his ass! <laughs> <laughs> Call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my god. Aduna, <laughs> it's your turn. I'm a hit. <laughs> Thank you, Melk. My swings. A one. A two. <laughs> <laughs> oh my boy. Three. He's trying to find the center of the horde. Aduna <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is doing massive damage to people. Like She's burning um, people. People are not having a good time around her. It doesn't Aduna's look like going... we're going we're gonna, to like, give, like, I'm not going to get advantage in a full round, so I'm just going to do some action surges now. Um, okay. Just Go. keep swinging. Go for it. <laughs> One. <laughs> a two. I'm gonna update Ooh, that's this a good mythic one. monster. We're halfway Three. through our group Paris. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was I'm waiting for the critical them. to come out. Finally got a crit. Do you want to make We do we just need to create a version of them that's mythic. If you move one square. And then over, we give them new mythic actions. Like new yeah. fucked up reactions too. <laughs> I mean that, I think that's on top of me, but that's, that's fine. fine. I can't tell where you are. I'm just on top of everyone. As long as you're as long as you're adjacent to me, I can do I can do paladin things. <laughs> I'm just standing on top of... <laughs> as long things. as you're right next to me. Yeah, I can do paladin um. things. In case they decide to turn on you. Yeah, yeah. All right, Minerva, Volthanir. It's your turn. Okay. They're... Okay, cool. They oh, wait. A legendary action on their... Um, on oh, wait a minute. I forgot to stab Valdrick again. On the Dunas turn? Yeah. <laughs> At the end of Dunas. Go for it. It's not stab my turn. All, these motherfuckers. all right, I'm gonna stab everybody. Fuck these guys. <laughs> Whirlwind. Okay. Aduna, Valfonir. This and is such Baltric. a cool stat block. I know, dude. It's so <laughs> simple. I, I desperately needed a simple stat block after the I'm shit sure I had to still, run last. I'm yeah, sure I still have my spirit shields. Run them over to one legendary action. I think run them over should be one. Um, in terms of like the, the drama of it, it's funnier if you just think of them as like a crowd just roaming around the battlefield. We should also add the language. This movement does not provoke opportunity attacks. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Whirlwind of blades. Oh wait, they have half damage. I need to. I'm also oh. gonna shield uh, Volthanir if uh, the attack goes through. Oh, you have that's your gonna be reaction. That's I believe be I do. Oh, no, I didn't. Nice. No, I don't. Right. Yeah. Nope. Stones and Diamonds. Yep, you're right. Doesn't matter. I'll take it. All right. Why so do I have to make a dexterity saving throw? I have resist all on me right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be. Uh, it's supposed I have to two be. of them. It's fine. That's okay. fine. It doesn't stack. Okay. Yeah, I'll just remove one. All right. Cool. Great. Cool. Awesome. I can't make a dex save to save my fucking life here. Oh, uh, I used my reaction to help out. Uh, Baldrick. I think you already used... Oh, wait, no, you had a turn. Yeah, I had a turn. Baldrick mm. already gets advantage. Oh, does he? He's okay. a, yeah. Because he's a barbarian. Yeah. Never mind, then. I'm just yeah. rolling shit. Yeah, Die. you can... Yeah. I'm not uh, likely to make help, it either um, way. I'm not likely to make it other way. Yeah, me, 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 me your reaction. <laughs> me, 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 me. Ducky's like, all right, fuck it. You guys will just have to suffer <laughs> along with me. <laughs> I'll take the apparently 10 damage. Yeah. Okay. They're doing they're doing less damage now because they're getting weaker. Oh, neat. there's bodies all over the ground as people are. Oh no, help! Uh, uh, my ulcer, Corman. 
Mm -hmm. Targeting myself. Not the oh, face. Yeah. Not the face. All right. So that was their legendary action, right? It's my turn then. Yes. All right. On my turn, um, my devotee sensor goes off. Um, I heal everybody for two damage, and then we're just going to start smashing. <sighs> Let's go. Nice. Oh, it hits. Nice. Okay. Deal. Got one radiant damage. Doing its work. Um. Okay. Uh, do I have a bonus action worth a damn? Probably <laughs> not. All right. Pass turn. I think I'm out of legendaries right now because we use kick them all down. Yeah, That's yeah. You kicked in whirlwind, yeah. Okay. Baldrick, are you standing up? Yeah, I will stand up. <laughs> and I will do librarian things. Mm -hmm. Fish for that 20, but I'm not getting it. Weird again noises. There's like three Sahuigan in this fight, just <laughs> losing their fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, I'll just apply the spirited effect, and I think we're good to go. Nice. Five, All right, Hannah's hundreds. We can't really knock these fuckers down. Nine. Doesn't seem to be doing much for us. I think we're just going to whirlwind the blades then. No. Oh, I've already got them targeted. <laughs> oh, I like running people over, though. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> now you have your reaction boodles. Yep. Piercing damage. No, it's not piercing. It's bludgeoning damage. Bludgeoning damage, period. <clears throat> da, 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 da. I guess that's better because they're all strong. So we'll just grow one the blades you. Hmm. Jesus H. I made a good save. Two fours from Baldrick. Unbelievable. We're going to spend a day hiding. <laughs> that was hmm. there's less of them mm. and I rolled a 1, a 2, and a 4 <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it Bink uh team before okay i uh, yeah um i think it's going to, to aim into the crowd away from the large aduna so he doesn't <laughs> you know, accidentally hit her aduna standing over a bunch of people screaming about violence swinging her <laughs> big ass sword <laughs> uh, Ooh, that's effective and uh that's a hell of a firebolt <laughs> The biggest what fucking the firebolt fuck? I've ever fucking seen. You see this yeah, firebolt yeah. hit some he's like guy, some guy who's clearly some sort of weird tinker. It hits him right in the back and it explodes, incinerating <laughs> a bunch of people in the crowd. You guys had no idea there was somebody like that in their group. <laughs> um, I'm gonna end my turn. All right. Oh wait, I'm gonna stab you guys. <laughs> Whoa, in the blades. Okay. You only targeted Biggles. What? Because we made the saves before, and I think you're using the old targeting. Son of a bitch. What is that? Let's see. Oh, God. Fail. 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 Dex saves, too. <laughs> Just suffer. Hmm. It's fine. Ooh. I succeeded on my last one. I'll take that. Finally, a decent roll. Look at the average that's coming out for me. Uh, Aduna, it's your turn. Hello. Let's see. I think we're going to hit. 
One. As the Duna begins wading through the last of this crowd. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. They disband. <laughs> you Run! have defeated Anna's hundreds. <laughs> Aduna has stood over the last one and bonks him over the <laughs> I swing my sword in the air a couple times for good measure. <laughs> she gives out a primal screech. <laughs> Everyone is alarmed. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Bink runs over and says, Hey, who's got that damn necklace? <laughs> Where, where's Hannah? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's stumbling around. <laughs> Just like, after watching this creature's live performance, I've deployed some updates. <laughs> I think I'd rather tone down some of the damages, Joe, and then yeah. give them, like, five legendary actions. Okay. I can do that. Because I want them, I want them to be, I want them to move around so much that like the party is deeply bothered by how much movement these creatures, have, like this part of this group has. You you should add in a legendary uh, action to return fire against ranged combatants. Well, they do have one. Like they've got the knives one, which they can do to target people. But like you guys are a melee centric party, so it made more sense to just stab everybody who was around me. Oh, okay. I was like, I, I probably could have been hit if there was like a. It wasn't efficient in terms of damage dealing. Oh yeah, because it was a cube, right? It was a deck save. Like this is like the ideal opponent for you all. It's somebody who only wants to deal physical damage. <laughs> you guys are very good at taking physical damage. <laughs> Thank you for that heal. Uh -huh. Baldric, uh, Baldric retrieves the, the, the two feathers from Hannah, I assume. Um, uh, it's just a crowd them. of like 40 people on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say they, right they ended up, we'll say that they ended up uh, surrendering once they were, their swarm was incapable of actually fighting you all. Sounds good. Uh, I commend them all for their, for their, their fighting spirit. Uh, they all stand up and they form a couple of ranks and they all salute you all at once. Oh. I just uh, clicked on the blip so that it showed that it was expired. I'll remove yeah, the uh, actual effect for me. Uh, we will, I will <laughs> salute back. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm -hmm. After they salute, you can see them breaking up a little bit. You can see that some of them are a little bit disappointed. But a couple of them come by and they clap a dune on the back. <laughs> this one girl who's like, she's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> um, if everyone groups up, we can make use of the rest of my um, devotee sensor. Yeah, let's. Uh, sure, I'll give you a few rounds on that. Just figure how many you have left and go ahead and deploy. I had eight left, I believe. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get a. Uh... You used two? Yeah, so go ahead and just get eight bursts on the party. Got it. Two, three, four. I will take that. That Happily. didn't work at all. <sighs> okay, I've tuned it down and given them five legendary actions. Yeah, I like the idea of them just moving around a lot more. I like them running around, knocking people over, and then like shit punching people. I like running them over being one so that they can stab one person that they opportunistically knock down. I'd rather give them like two chances to knock somebody down. I also to stab like, them once. I like the like by having so many legendary actions, like they're active the entire round. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like it, the, to to remove the uh, Pathfinder from it. The new monster's name is like eighty dudes. <laughs> All right. So, I'm, so somehow that only got Baldrick and myself. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add these on to. Uh, I'll, I will personally add these on to Bink and Naduna. Yeah, go so, for it. For my. Uh, Bink, Bink only really needs um, eight. Eight total. Yeah, Bink will be three, max healed. Three, two. Bucky's like, finally, a fight where I was allowed. <laughs> so like, two. <laughs> feel welcomed here. Sorry, we're going to do that. Right? I got to hit no. every round. <laughs> Bucky's like, for once, there was no weird bullshit where they were like, <laughs> you, you can't. You can't hit them, Ducky. That was delightfully it. straightforward. <laughs> uh, 
And thematically hilarious. There we go. I think that. I think there we go. Fully healed. All right. Or all the way. Um, Volthanir, wow, this is happening. Okay, I'm getting ridiculously moved out of the way for some reason. I'm Great. just moving you over to get the incense one off without it sending a bajillion errors. Okay. It seemed to not... So I had deleted it and undeleted it a couple times, and it seemed to be okay. But um, oh, I get more errors than you all get. Oh, never mind. <laughs> That's my bet then. Uh, yeah, uh, Volvnir would uh, give a would extend uh, a hand to Bink as um, like a handshake. Yeah, Bink accepts and says, "I wasn't gonna it's let a very... you. I wasn't gonna let you die in that group." <laughs> the support is much appreciated. It's a very hearty wrist, wrist to wrist uh, handshake. And and as as he, Bing lets go, he's like, and that's why I didn't want you to take damage for me, because I wouldn't have lasted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Uh, Valk, make a charisma insight check. Charisma insight check. Let's get back to that. Charisma insight. Oops, Charisma Insight. Mm. Oh well. So looking looking uh -huh. at our necklace, Mink Mink is like So I wasn't expecting us to get here so fast. How are we going to avoid teams for two days? Avoid them. Okay. We'll, well just take more feathers. No, but you can't we, get over ten. Uh... They're, they're removed from the game. If yeah, when we that's, win, that's fine. We we remove them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can't challenge any longer. And no, no, I didn't mean we challenge win. anyone, but like we don't have to be afraid of them. We'll just take their feathers. That's less teams in the next round. Okay. Okay. Those those monks that you beat <laughs> up will will commend you, I'm sure. Now we could just go roam the island for environmental hazards. Yeah, like if you guys were low on feathers, there's a challenge that would have been given to you by the enforcers next that would have had you running around the island doing exploration type stuff to earn feathers. Let's go throw ourselves in a volcano. Yeah, <laughs> Some environmental has go fight I'll some just, environmental. I'll hazards. just show you what these are. I'll just read them off to you. So there's a race for the feathers so around noon on the second day. The enforcers declare a unique challenge. There are a total of eight feathers up for grabs. I mean, and the first team to reach them can get them. You... Oh, let's go beat all the other people. You have to reach a fighting site. They don't really give a lot of guidance for these. These are more like funzy stuff. So the first is a banana challenge where you have to find 10 red bananas that are hidden in the jungle's underbrush. And then there's a coconut challenge, which takes place on a muddy plateau. They're on the, the forcer stands on either side of a 400 foot wide muddy clearing. It begins raining at the onset of this challenge. Mm -hmm. Each team starts at the same end of the clearing and is given a small coconut marked with an enforcer's signature. The team that delivers the cleanest coconut to the enforcer on the other side within one minute wins a silver feather. That's hilarious. Let's go do that. There's a boulder challenge. They've hidden the silver feather under the rocks and silt of the swiftly flowing river. Also hidden under is an iron chain which is secured with sovereign glue. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> On the other case. end of the chain is locked around a 500 foot, 500 pound boulder, 20 feet slack between the boulder and the feather. The bridge is 250 feet above the river, and the river is four feet deep. All competitors must remain in contact with the bridge at all times. The first team to get a hand on the feather wins. <laughs> you can win up to three silver feathers. If the characters already have a maximum of ten silver feathers, the enforcer instead award the party 1,500 gold. That's fun. Oh, speaking of which, you guys got 500 gold for that fight. We got money. More money. I like money. Okay. Where is the map? The move map. And we're probably But yeah, um you all can explore the island at this point. Yeah, can we, like, low-profile explore? Let's see if we can... 
Yeah, I guess mostly for funsies at this point, because I don't want to get too, too lost in the sauce on this. What are you curious about on the island that you might want to find out about? Well, Ducky wants to kill monsters. We know of two monster deaths. <laughs> um, I don't actually mind just doing exploration stuff. Just, just seeing what's around the island. Like, <clears throat> considering it's all, like, only almost demigod created island <laughs> it's it's interesting to see what's in every x so if we want to just like follow the coastline uh counterclockwise commit and uh yeah. see what we find uh sure um did we did we're gonna short rest first well or we're just I just gonna or we're just gonna trek i think short rest <laughs> is rest. a good idea because everybody, okay. everybody yeah, gets features back. Yeah, and we have about 40 people to is, guard uh... us, <laughs> in a sense. Traveling on bone move. Is there like a percentile chance you run into people? I know when, <sighs> when we wander into uh, occupied squares or go up to teleportation towers or is it doesn't say so okay uh so what direction you want to go uh do east but i was oh well, you're gonna take a short rest first um baldrum get survival check yep uh while that's happening oh Rolled up okay. 20. Um, I'm going to harness divine power before our short rest. Nope. Oh, yeah, go for it. Uh, what do you want to do with it? I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna restore a third level spell slot. Since I can do that, it can be no higher than... The spell can be no higher than half my proficiency bonus rounded up. Oh, that's We're pretty cool. Five, so... Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm that's glad that nice. comes in a lot earlier than I hoped it, than I thought it was. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like oh, God, I, don't, I only have a first level below third. Oh, wait, I can use third. Thank God. All right. You do not get accosted during your rest. You all may gain the benefits of a short rest. Are there any other features you won't like to use prior to your short rest? You may. Yeah, I, I just used a second wind. Okay. All uh, right. Short rest engaged. All right. Time to burn some hit dice. Oh, oh, do you want to go back to that location and eat food during the short rest? I was just about to Oh, yeah! I think that, that, that should be fun. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Baldrick, remember you heal one more. Okay. I'll just do that now. Should I wait before rolling my hit dice for this mm, little no, reverie? Go ahead, and we'll just move you over to the appropriate X. All right, and then go I ahead. All right, so... Plus one, so I get some at twenty wound. Let's roll. Hey. Oh, nice. Oh, nice Ooh, attack! Nice. All right, Ooh. all right. Ooh, That's good. Look, oh my look, goodness! Look at you two! <laughs> oh my goodness! Jesus Christ! All right. I'll take it. Bound to happen eventually. Wow. All above average for Baldrick. First yeah. roll was a 12. I set the mood. <laughs> Dim the lights. <laughs> Put on the Marvin Gaye. <laughs> <laughs> Romancing those hit die. Is uh, that can works, make man. a cooking tools check with wisdom? Hey. Ooh. Um... Wow. You now have access to the chef feet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey. While you, after you finish the meal and everyone is cleaning up, there is a small warm glow in the eyes of the statue. And then it opens its mouth. And inside is a tasty cookie. <laughs> Aduna, you feel yourself drawn to the cookie. 
I, I'm going to eat the cookie. <laughs> you, know, have, have, you now know the chef feet. Okay, does that include the con whiz or just the features? Just the short rest feature and long rest feature? Nah, I'll give you the whole feet. Okay, Ooh, my wisdom, oh my, my wisdom just went to a fourteen. Let's hey. go, mini a free AS ASI. <laughs> Quick, everyone, let's go swimming. He hasn't to say. What have you heard about the, the crisscross swimming? <laughs> I was literally going to next on my list. <laughs> All right. And uh, Bink will say, uh, I think we should hunt shrines while waiting. Oh, uh, Ducky, did you challenge. want to use any of your hit dice during this short yeah, rest? Yeah, let me use. Let me use a hit die. I agree, Bink. <laughs> Doop. A two. All right. Fuck. Well, but I mean, ten. the durable feat kicks in. I know. Just... I know. I get to add another ten. <laughs> this is still shit roll. <laughs> Ducky cannot heal lower than a 10 on hit die. It's <laughs> right. still pissed about it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's not heal self. I gotta drag it. There we go. Oh yeah, we should set those up to be self so it's easier for you. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix them. Do you want to roll another one? Uh, nah, if it comes to it, I'll do it in the in an act, in a, in a in the fight. Oh wait, Amazing. the um... <laughs> oh wait uh how the dwarven i'm, con I'm confused we so created an we created an effect for dwarven mm -hmm. healing that represents the duplicate the doubled values that she can receive because oh, we okay. couldn't we couldn't drag the hit die healing onto her twice got it makes sense got it okay cool all right now that all self nice okay because she's got the periodic wound closure, so. Yeah. Oh, double. Oh, yeah. Duh. Okay. Yeah, so cool. mine would get doubled. <laughs> nice. So technically, okay. it's the periodic wound closure, not actually dwarven healing, but whatever. We call it, we call it dwarven healing because why the fuck not? <laughs> okay. So you all want to head back south? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm going to roll for random encounters. <laughs> as, as we were trying to get to that shrine, yeah. Or there's a T-Rex in the area, so... If it's true. He's pissed <laughs> off because this Earth Elemental punched it in the mouth. Uh, I was okay. just looking at our party sheet. We also have... Where did we get the red or Elemental uh, gem? Uh, we got I don't from, remember. Uh, we got it from uh, beating up something earlier. It was, it was, oh, in, uh, it was okay. in the bag of that bird. Uh, before we set oh, off... Right, right, okay. Before we set off... I'd, okay. like to, I'd like to give an inspiring speech. <laughs> okay. Jeez. After after finishing his meal, Valtelnir wipes his mouth, mm. <laughs> stands up. <laughs> what a delicious meal! <laughs> Do I have everything targeted? Okay, cool. All right. Our victories continue to come. We have now amassed the amount of feathers necessary to compete in the tournament. All we need to do is hold on to them. Our will is greater than that of hundreds. We shall prevail for great justice. <laughs> Take a charisma insight check. I'll apply, let, me, <laughs> let me apply my healing first, damn it. You should uh, hotbar the charisma insight check. Because it's going to come up almost any time you do any of your specific dragonborn stuff. Here, insight. <laughs> oh, just take the first one add two. Eight. Okay. Cool. Man. All right, and then I'll apply the the temp HP. Where's the fucking temp HP? Inspiring leader. Fuck. There we go. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll put the the insight down. All right, okay. there we go. That was sorry. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, did we run into Dude. the T-Rex as we approached the... the you did not. <laughs> you did not run into the T-Rex much. The T-Rex lives another day. <laughs> <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> All right. You managed to find your way back to the shrine. Okay. So uh, Bink is like, hands, hands the ring of water walking back to Aduna and is like, 
Once we're out there, I don't think any of us should be standing. We should probably swim around, or sure. someone else that might know more history about it should uh, look at the inscriptions down below. Um, I'll give you the general understanding since you have religion proficiency. The only one person's going to receive a benefit, oh, shit, likely was... from these. Uh... That was a misclick. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll fix that. <laughs> only <laughs> one person. Only one person's going to benefit from this. And it's going to be related to somebody who has a relevant proficiency to the form of worship involved. Hence, Aduna, a cook, getting the chef feet for being a cook, preparing a meal. Makes sense. Okay. Well, I... The, the depictions are people swimming and worshipping and fishing, right? Swimming, fishing, sailing. Mm, yeah. No, I don't think any of us... In a past life, I was a cockswain. That's like a lie, which... I made that up. <laughs> Fucking pickles. <laughs> what? <laughs> I bet you only mopped the poop deck. <laughs> he said poop. Oh my god. Uh, um, well, I... let's let's hunt shrines. Uh, I don't know if any of this, any of us would uh, get anything out of this one. Uh, Jazzy, do we still have freedom of movement on us for an hour? Probably not. Yeah. All right. Sure, right. So, uh, probably not. I'll take it off. Thank you. So, what do you want to do at the shrine to Jinyapur? Hmm. Uh, so fishing, sailing, and swimming. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we'll suggest someone who's swimming. a little, little on the the stronger side. Maybe we collect mussels, swim down and collect mussels. It's a form of fishing and swimming. And then make another meal. <laughs> well, we could. We have a refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, we have. We, we got we our have, we, have, we have a box. We have a cold box Ooh. to save for. So we could, we could at least do the the depiction on the shrine to see if we can uh, activate. Yeah. It. Yeah. Sure. We're all we're all hardy while swimming, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I guess I am. Oh wait a minute! Products. I want to try something. Oh. We have a ring of swimming in the uh, party sheet. Oh, it just gives you a swim speed. Swim, yeah, it just gives you a swim speed of forty feet. But I mean, that's good. Is there no attunement the required? I mean, otherwise, otherwise it just does require attunement. Yeah. Oh, it does. Mm. Yeah, it's not. It's not like the ring of water walking. Mm. Okay. Well, it's like, a good ring. It's. It is. There's nothing. Yeah. Let's uh. Let's uh. Swim in. And harvest some mussels. Do two out of three. Okay. Um. Anybody who isn't, I guess I, uh, I'd like to play two, three dragon ante with them. I guess. Well, it's just to, it's just to make sure you don't drown. You just can't, just don't mess with your, your con. Don't spend five more minutes underwater. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. We're so we're all swimming for yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. We're all gonna swim and harvest mussels. Only one person's going to benefit from it, so you are going to have to decide who you want to be showing mm -hmm. devotion here. Probably, probably Baldrick, right? Yeah, baldrick has got the survival skill. He'd be, probably be best for it. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Baldrick, how much time do you want to spend on this? Um, I'll go down in one-minute shifts and uh, come up with, a, I suppose, what would be like, you know, enough... Muscles or whatever uh, other uh, did you say oysters or something like that? Yeah, um, so I think it's yeah, yeah, and uh, come up with enough for a, a good hearty meal or a stew or something like that for the party. So uh, I'll, I'll go, I'll go down and up, like you know, say like five times or so. 
in one okay. shifts. All right. After five shifts, nothing has seemed to happen yet. Hmm. It's fine. We we've got plenty of people that we'll run into. Maybe we'll drop off extras uh, for Hannah's hundreds. On the Ooh, side, yeah. the, you see Aduna has a bucket out. <laughs> and she's cleaning the oysters now. <laughs> she's got them just sitting in a bucket. <laughs> Gotta clean them. Put them in the uh, in the refrigerator. Yeah. yeah how much room do we have in that refrigerator? Oh, not for him. <laughs> it's big. Okay. Yeah, just It'll keep go going. For it. uh, Bink, Bink yeah. encourages Baldrick. Go for it, buddy. We'll we'll be here. I'll use my natural athleticism to do some. Flourishes in the water. Of no. <laughs> course. Of course. Do I have anything neat? So oh, 11. Is, did you say there's fish down there too? Uh, yeah. Running around? Oh, I'll bring out, I'll, I'll grab my javelin and I'll do some spear fishing. Ooh. I'll give you advantage for that since you're performing two forms of devotion. Roll another athletics check. That advantage, you said? No, just roll again. We've already rolled one. You rolled oh, one. Okay. We're going to drop that one. Let's get that oh one again. Oh, my God. Almost. Um... We don't have a boat. Nope, can't sail. Hmm. Deer fishing that did not meet the DC, so you don't That's get the figured. feet. But you do gain a swimming speed of thirty feet. Oh, cool! Ooh, cool. Neat. Give that ring you have to give boots. a twenty. You have to give a. You have to get a twenty for the feet, but I give mm. you something else if you get above a twelve. Nice mm. job. Hey, boon. But what what feet was it going to be? Would it have been? That doesn't matter. It curious. isn't good DM etiquette to, to tell you those things. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. No worries. Swim speed thirty. I'll put that in my special movement. Because then the party gets salty. Yeah. Yeah. Don't set yourself up for that. Aldrich, uh, who gets your ring? Hmm. I don't think anybody's attuned it because it has attunement on it. No, 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 no. The, um, mm -hmm. the, the ring of water walking in the party. If he can swim, he doesn't need to walk on water. No, that's true. Mm, that's true. Uh, well, you already have one. Yep. Who wants, who wants it? Who has a. Is it, it's not an attunement, so. Yeah, what free, is that? Free ring of water walking. Ring of, ring of oh. water walking. Well, uh... oh, you're super fast. So if we come across some sort of like a natural barrier, like a river or stream or something like that, we don't you don't have to worry about. You can just run right over it and be like, "Ha ha, yeah. fuck you." So yeah, if you want it, let's do uh, it. Nice. I think it actually um uh, it has an. It's an item, so if Sarge drags it into the uh, combat tracker... You guys can do that yourself. Just drag it from your inventory to the chat window. Hmm. Where is it? Uh, do we want to... Let me see. Explore one or two more times and then take our midway break? Um, sure. We're, we're hunting shrines now. I'm fine with that. Yeah, <laughs> shrines are good. Shrine power. No, that's a different one. Uh, like, yeah, that's the ring of swimming. Oops. Yeah, I'm trying to. Yeah, I think we we did this once before. Sarge has to drag it for our from our inventory. Do I have to? Oh, I was able to drag this. I was able to throw it from my inventory into the party sheet and then pull from the party sheet into my inventory. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Try that, Bagels. Deal. Okay, Love it. Uh, la, la, la. Oh, I found it. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, why did you have a ring of protection that was on? Like, 
With oh. uh, it wasn't identified on your sheet. No, that's not right. Wait, what? I'm interested in this dispelling sliver. <laughs> Counteract modifier plus 29. Yeah, why is it keeping me? Uh, oh, Pathfinder. I think it's just like. I think I just made it like a free dispel magic. Oh, it's consumable. Cool. Oh, that's neat. That's a very powerful dispel magic. Very appropriate. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I what apparently do don't have it in my inventory on. Fine. Uh, you can do that on your water walking to your sheet. Okay, it's when fine. I do that, it's it's <laughs> uh, yeah, just add it from because when I add it to my inventory for some reason, it's giving me a ring of protection. The hell from the items. Weird. I don't remember you having a ring of protection, but whatever. No, I know I don't. I don't have one. That's what I'm saying. But I'm I'm literally dragging the ring of water walking from the items section into my inventory, and it keeps identifying it as a ring of protection. Mine is unidentified. Hmm. Oh. Ring. Mm -hmm. Identified. There you go. Wee! Oh, that, that was it. It was, it was dragging rings. Did you just make a loud splash noise when you equip that? That's so yeah. fucking stupid. <laughs> I wonder if it's the word water. Let's see. It's probably the water walking. Water walk. Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> It might be the specific mm. effect of walk or effect. Oh, wait, nope. Somebody got the trigger there. Okay. Oh, the yeah, I, I anyway. put it on again. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Oh, uh, Jazz, you remove a uh, freedom of movement from me as well. Oh, sorry. I got distracted and I didn't remove it from you all again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am no longer free to move. I'm now bound mm -hmm. to this mortal shell. Oh my. If, if you say so. Okay, where do we want to uh, travel? Uh, let me pull up the map. I closed it on accident. We could just go due, due east, cut through the center of the island. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, sure, why not? Have we been to, D have we been to the one with D1 yet? Yeah, this one has a transport tower. You've explored this area. Yeah, okay. I think um, like I, I think we head for the mountain. The mountain might be the first unexplored area. Okay. Yeah, the mountain we... is also not that mountain. The mountain to the north is the one you have to go to uh, tomorrow once you have 10. Got it. So we'd this probably one. take the teleportation tower, go to D4, and then walk up to the mountain. Yeah. Yeah, that makes or sense. Or we go to D3, since it's further away, and we would av maybe avoid the rush at D4. Yeah. So, uh, we travel up, up to the coast, and then do east. That way we avoid the... Uh, sure. Baldrick, make a uh, blobbity bloop check. While oh, you're there. Here comes the blobbity boop. Oh, which one is that? Yeah, it's a good blobbity bloop. Yeah, with the exception of the natural one, I've rolled pretty well with you've, the blobbity bloops. You've you've rolled many ones today. I uh, yeah, today is uh day. Oh, good job, Baldrick. So you find become aware of two things. First, uh there is a strange eggshell on the southern on this side of the beach but on the other beach to slightly to the north past the rocks you notice a strange outcrop and there's something shiny that catches your eye over there Ooh, shiny which do you want to investigate first um what was on this side uh, oh the eggshell egg an enormous uh, eggshell yeah. like bigger Ooh. than you eggshell <laughs> so um this shell egg. is as large as a house and over a foot thick Oh, God. Okay. Uh, oh, we have an image. I'll oh. relay this information. Oh. I like so we shadow. have two options. We have an egg, a ginormous egg on this side, and shiny on the other side. Well, let's investigate the egg. 
Maybe we can yep. Joe, what, what would you say occultism is in 5e? Religion or arcana? Either, maybe? Occult? Joe's dead. It. Occultism should be arcana, I think. Mm. Uh, the, the check I might actually make would be... Um, in, uh, like... Like, history plus your spellcasting mod or something? That's... I don't know. Yeah, I'd say Arcana. Okay. Uh, what do you want to investigate first? Uh, the eggs, since we're on this side. All right. Anybody with proficiency in Arcana? You may make an Arcana check. I'm going to guidance myself first. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you, let you have advantage, because Minerva would generally be here to help you out. Cool. I might might have been targeting more than one person. Uh, no, yeah. it looks like it only went to you. Okay, cool. Skills. Advantage. Arcana. Hey. The shell is marked by strange veins of seafloor sand. You suspect it came from the bottom of the ocean, where kaiju are rumored to live. Kaiju. So this this inlet might be a spawning ground for some colossal creature. We should probably avoid the water here. Does anybody have nature in this party? I um, do. You do? Yeah. <laughs> that was one of the trainings I took. Okay. Oh, yeah. You can guidance Baldrick. Baldrick can make a nature check. I don't think I can give you help for this, because I don't mm. think anyone else is proficient. Yeah. No. Give me a second to put guidance on yep. you. Go ahead. Oh, man. Baldrick's rolling like poopy today. <laughs> I'm good with the blippity blops, but that's about it. <laughs> um, it's hard to tell what exact type of creature that this eggshell may have come from. Hmm, yes. I believe this is from a creature. <laughs> a very large one. Uh, Baldrick, lead on. Where was the, the shiny thing? Oh, also, Baldrick, make a survival check. <laughs> Lippity blobs, come on. Now. This is still for information about the uh, the thing. Uh, there are no signs of the hatch creature nearby, footprints or otherwise. Okay. Which makes you believe my s it may right have now. had elsewhere. Yeah, and that just got water died about the shell in. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm, you're not certain if the tide brought it in. You can't right. confirm that. There's no natural evidence to suggest that the tide brought the eggshell here. Okay. That's foreshadowing for the future! <laughs> oh, good job, Paizo. That's actually pretty fun. So when whenever this large kaiju shows up later, the party's going to go, oh yeah, that egg. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This may as well happen now. Oh, right, and okay. the Shinies. Yep, yes. off to uh, the other see. side of the alcove. I don't think there's really anything you have to do to struggle for these treasures. You just find them from exploring and rolling good on survival. You find a small jade idol shaped like a rising phoenix, which sits at the center of where four otherwise nondescript game trails intersect. The idol generally sells for 500 gold, but like the other one you were given, you can use this to turn down matches. Oh, we have two of those now. So be you guys get swarmed yeah. trying to get to the <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, we can, can pick our fights. So you have another Jade Idol, so whoever's got one, increase your uh, inventory to... Oh, did I read the wrong one? Do Is that in our party sheet? Mm, I don't know who has it. I don't think I so. I probably didn't say anything. Wait, that's wrong. It... You, oh, uh, never mind. I read the wrong one. You find a pair of greater boots of bounding. 
in an abandoned bungalow. So you guys would have found, I guess, boots are striding and springing. Oh, fun. Okay. Um, do we have our... Who has our uh, Sarge gave it to us post-combat, but didn't add it into the combat tracker. He said that the uh, uh, monks would have given us one, but it didn't, it didn't end up... In combat. All right, so in you guys have boats are striding and stringing, striding and springing. I guess you'll find out about them when you take a short rest, but clearly you have magical boots. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, Did you put that jade idol in the party parcel? Sure. Thank you. Magic yeah. boots. Magic uh, boots. Valk, since you're the only one who can accept or deny challenges, you should probably move that Rising Phoenix. <laughs> I am moving it in. All right, so my... you did not find the Phoenix one. You instead found the boots. Yeah. The Phoenix one is elsewhere. I misread. I got it. Oh, shit. Where is that location then? Mm, I'm not worried about it. Okay. Where do you guys want to go next? Oh, wait. Uh, we're going to take a break here. We'll come back at the 45 minute mark. I'm going to work on S. Yeah, block. Oh, interesting. Some of you are not going to be here next week. Oh, well. We are? Somebody's yeah. absent next week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Valk's missing. Then it's the end of the month. Then I'm missing. Yeah. Rest in pepperonis. Let's see. I need to program in the stat block for... Uh, so the 45-minute mark come back? Yes. Okay.